Okay, we're doing one, two, three, four, five thread up boxes. Five thread up boxes, right? Okay, no eating the mic. Go sit over by Luna. Okay, all right. So uh, basically, I decided to order some thread up boxes. Two of them, these two small ones, that one and this one, are size nine shoes. And I'm hoping that maybe I can get a couple summer shoes. If not, maybe a couple shoes to sell. Um, I don't typically see them do the size specific on thread up shoes very often, um, or I haven't in a long time. Can you stop eating my fingers? Go, go play with Luna. Go eat Luna's ear. Just kidding. Please be nice to Luna. Um, this is a regular shoe box. So I think it's a 10 shoe box mixed shoes. Um, this one is, I believe a 25 item mixed women's clothing. And then the big one is a 50 pound mixed clothing rescue box. I'm excited to open the two right here because they are potentially shoes for me. And uh, basically, I, I think these are fun to get. They're, They're always a risk, so I am well aware that all of these could be, you know, junk. But I'm hoping that maybe I can get some stuff to list because I have a video coming up with some reseller friends and I need a certain amount of inventory that I don't have. And even though I did start thrifting again, um, I am still listing normally. So I decided to order some thread boxes to hopefully help with the inventory that I need for that video. All right, first up. So again, all of these are size nine and they're pretty, these two light small boxes are pretty light. So I'm assuming there's nothing like crazy heavy boots. Uh, first up are some sandals. And these are time and true, so I think that's Walmart. Uh, I will not wear these out, but I could maybe have these as just running outside shoes. I mean, I wear my Birkenstocks all the time. Can you not? Oh my gosh, he is right down here, sprawled out. Um, I mean, this isn't really a style that I personally like, partly because I'm, you know, whatever. But, uh, and they're not gonna be worth reselling, but still. All right, these are pretty cute. These are Banana Republic. And I like these because these have an ankle strap. They're flat. They look, you know. So I actually could probably wear these and like these. And it looks like they've been worn, but maybe only once or twice. So these are a keeper. Okay, this is a pair of like duck boots, which I actually have a pair of duck boots that are, I think, uh, the bean boots. Um, but these are, Nope, no biting. These are Steve Madden and they are my size, which is great. They're also a color I don't have. And I do wear boots like this during, you know, fall and winter. So I might keep those. I mean, it's not something I would pick up for myself, but I do wear those types of boots often, especially when I'm going outside just to play in the front yard with the dogs. So we'll see if I keep those. All right, these are pretty cute. I will keep these. And again, only two of these boxes, I was really just hoping for some shoes for myself because they're all size nine. These are halogen. These are cute little loafers. I can wear these for real estate and they look pretty comfortable. So light signs of wear. If I didn't wanna wear these, I'd probably sell these maybe because they are just a really cute style, but I think I can get some wears out of those. The second one. All right, last, it's five in each of these boxes. Okay, so this is not my style. Um, so I don't think I'll be wearing these, but they are Vince Camuto. They're not in terrible condition. Can you stop licking? Stop, stop, stop. Um, they're not in terrible condition, but they've got a few scuffs marks. So Vince Camuto, I mean, I kind of predicted that there would be a lot of sandals in these boxes because they're kind of lightweight, but I don't know if you can see right here, there's just some marks. The bottoms don't look too bad, but I just know myself, there's nothing that I own that would pair with this. So I won't wear these, they're cute. I mean, maybe I could find something that would pair with this, but probably not. So I might sell these, um, we'll see. And I always get asked, four of these boxes were from Georgia. The big box back there was from Arizona. None of it really matters to me, but I know some people ask. All right, so here's some Lucky Brand flats. Um, I don't wear a lot of flats, so I probably won't keep these, but Lucky Brand, 
size nine. Um, I might list these. These won't get too much, but they see they're a good color, just a really great neutral color, and they're in pretty good shape. So I'll probably list those. And oh, these have a little bit more wear. I don't know if it's gonna pick up, but there it seems like the leather on this one is a little bit. I still think they're pretty good. So we'll see. If I were to list these, I'd probably only expect about $20. Um, so nothing crazy. All right, these are H&M. <sighs> these are not my style, so I will not be wearing these. Although I do like the fact that they're a low heel and I do like the, flat, the fact that they're like a classic stripe. They're a navy blue, white stripe. Uh, I would not wear these, but H&M and pretty good condition. I don't think these are gonna be worth reselling, so I will put those in a yard sale donate pot pile. All right, um, not, not for me, but for someone that likes branding for Michael Kors. Uh, these are Michael by Michael Kors, and they are just a platform sandal. And they don't look like they've been worn if they have maybe once. So pretty good condition pretty great condition. And I, I will probably list these just cause they're kind of a statement. So, oh yeah, here's some little stickers on the back of this one or on the bottom of this one. So, all right, these are new with tags, but they're Primark, which is a affordable, they cost 11 pounds. They're cute for the right person. The right person is not me. <laughs> um, Primark is a pretty affordable brand. So again, 11, I think it's pounds. I, and maybe they, maybe they have Primark in um, the US now since it's got USA sizing. I don't know. Maybe they're $11 in US. Either way, affordable, they're pretty cute. They're gonna go in the yard sale pile because they're not worth much. All right, lastly, in my size, Definitely not my style, but they look like they're in good shape. Another statement piece. I feel like this person was the same person. <laughs> Are you sensing the theme? Uh, okay, so this is the Kulabura. Kulabura. It's the UGG line that they sell that's kind of a little bit more afford affordable, but it's still owned by UGG. So I think these will probably be worth listing. They don't seem to have too much wear and they're very soft. Uh, so I'll probably list those. So I got a couple to list. I got a couple to keep. Um, like I'm pretty excited about these because I think these are a really good real estate shoe. And these I'll keep for just a summer sandal when I don't want to wear my Birkenstocks. So I got a couple for me, a couple to sell. sell. Uh, these I think were 30 something dollars. So not the best flip, but at least they were all one size. All right, now this one is a mixed shoe box. So let's see what's in here. All right, oh, these are decent. Um, I mean, they've got somewhere, but not, I think that's supposed to be how it is. Okay, so these are Sorrells. Um, and again, this is mixed sizes. So where is, oh, these are size nine and these are pretty cute. So I might actually keep these. I wasn't planning on it, but if these are comfortable, I don't have a good, I've got a pair of black flip-flops, but it would be nice to have another pair of black sandals. So I might actually keep these since they are my size and that wasn't the point of this box, but Sorel, pretty good condition. I'm excited about those. And if I were to sell them, which I totally would, oh, okay. <laughs> um, you know, I would guess Sorel obviously is more of a winter boot brand that does fairly well, but this, so the sandals don't have as high of comps, but I could probably still get like 30 or 40 for those. Just a quick pause for the sponsor of today's video, which is my favorite, and it's no surprise, it's Green Chef. I'm honestly so excited to make this meal today because it has quickly become one of my favorites for many reasons. Um, so today I'm making one of their 10 minute lunch meals, and I order this exact meal every time it's on their menu because I love it that much. This is the cranberry walnut chicken wrap, and it takes me 10 minutes to make, so it's perfect because it gives me more time in my day and it also gives me a really convenient, wholesome, and delicious lunch. Bonus, I get the leftovers for tomorrow, so basically I'm happy two days in a row, <laughs> which is awesome. 
If you don't know what Green Chef is, it's the number one best meal kit for eating well. Um, they are a CCOF certified organic company and they have options for every lifestyle, which includes gluten-free, keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, and Mediterranean. Personally, I like to mix and match, but I do choose a lot of Mediterranean, which I love. Also, fun fact, when I order one of these boxes, I'm reducing my food waste by up to 23% versus when I go grocery shopping, which I think is pretty awesome. So when you're ready to give Green Chef a try for yourself, you can use my code COMMONTAGS60 to get 60% off plus free shipping on your first box. You can go to greenchef.com for more details, or you can check the description down below for those de details as well. So I'm gonna enjoy this delicious wrap, but I just wanted to give a big shout out and big thank you to Green Chef for continuing to support, support this channel. Um, honestly, it makes my day every time I get one of these meals and especially when it's one of my favorites like this one. All right, so here's some Tory Burch. I'm happy. Already this box is making up for the other two. So these seem to be in pretty good shape. There's some light signs of wear, but it's a cute color um, and it's a size eight. So it's a good size, not too small. And yeah, I really like this light signs of wear. Really happy about that. So already. All right, now these I probably wouldn't pick up because I don't look up a lot of sneakers, but these are a reputable brand. They seem to be in good shape and I think I can sell these. So Asics. There are some light signs of wear, but nothing major that I can see. And these are size nine, not my style personally, so I won't wear them, but um, yeah, great. Awesome, three for three out of this box. Let's keep it going. All right, Nike. Nike Zoom. These have a little bit more signs of wear, but I don't think it's not listable. So these are a size seven and uh, there is some, I don't know if it's going to pick up right here, but some wear right here, like some little marks, like maybe a puppy <laughs> biting the shoe. Uh, but other than that, they seem to be in pretty great shape or pretty good shape. So, all right, four for four, where's going to be the strikeout? No, these, these look good too. Oh, well, eh, I mean, I don't think I would pick these up, but I'll, I think they're funky enough that they'll sell and they're in good condition. They look like, all right. So these are, this is why I said they were funky. Cause you just, you know, they kind of have some funky aspects, but these are Steve Madden and some Steve Madden can do pretty well. So I'll look up on Google lens to see if I can find the style of these, but they kind of have like a little bit of an off white and cream and red and black. All right. Five for five. I am happy with this box. All right, Vans, these are pretty cute. These are a size seven in women's and they have some light signs of wear, but nothing major. Just a light signs of wear to the white, if you can see right there. I know you can use a little magic eraser to get some of that off. It doesn't always work that well for me, so teach their own. I'll probably just sell them as is, but all right, let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. All right, this has a raw sticker. Oh, okay. I have tried to sell this brand and it does not sell for me, so I probably will not list these. I'm skipping ahead. Oh, I thought those were Birkenstocks for a second. <laughs> I was like, don't even. Um, okay, so this is the brand Earth. And Earth, I have tried selling twice before and I could not sell them to save my life. So these are just little sneakers. They do have light signs of wear on the bottom. Um, and on the white parts, I don't think these are going to be worth listing. So I'm just going to call it what it is. Probably the first one out of this box that I'm not listing, but these are also look pretty cheap. They're fake Burks and, uh, there's no brand. It says size, large, vegan, leather, outsole, material, rubber. Um, there's just no brand. So this is, yeah, nothing, but. I'll put them in the donut pile and maybe someone at the yard sale will like them. All right. This is something I'm not familiar with. This is JC play. No idea. They don't look like anything great. They also have some wear, some dirt. 
So I am gonna guess that these don't look like they're anything of quality. Um, the upper is canvas, size six for US. I don't think these are anything, but I will look them up just to double check. All right, and lastly, <laughs> these are, I think these are a cute style. This is something I would have, you know, would wear if I had to go, what size are you? Um, size eight. So I have sold Life Stride before. I have worn Life Stride. I like comfort brands. And these are, I think, a pretty cute pair of low heels, probably two and a half inch heels. Um, but it doesn't get that much money for, for me for most of the items that I've tried to sell. So I'm probably not gonna list these. I wish these were a size bigger because I would just wear them for real estate. Not that I wear a lot of heels for real estate. I wear boots and some sand like wedges, but all right. So that is the third box. I'm pretty happy with that one. One, two, three, four, five, six pairs that are listable, but I might keep the Sorrells. So, okay. So this is a 25 piece mixed clothing box. And this is again from Atlanta. All right. First up is a J crew. This looks like a vintage. Oh, J crew factory, uh, skirt. And it's from spring of 2010. So not vintage, really cute style. Absolutely adorable. Uh, but it's a size four and it is the factory. So I don't think if I can't list it for at least 20 bucks, um, I'm not going to list it. And I, I don't know this, this might not be that I might, I mean, I could probably get 15, 12 to 15 for that, but I'll look it up just to make sure it's not some like crazy, <laughs> it's a really cute print, but all right. This is a new tags, Walter. What tag are you? It's like a cutoff. Oh, it's a compare at, so it's some discount store. Um, tag, but it doesn't say the the store because it's cut off at the end, but I can see a little bit of the compare at. So my guess is, you know, Dillard's or something like that. But this is a tank top. I really like the color, size small. Um, I don't think, uh, Walter, is this Walter Baker? Walter Baker has multiple different tags. There's W118 Walter Baker. There's just Walter Baker. There's Walter by Walter Baker. This might be Walter Baker, but I don't think I've seen just a Walter tag. But I'm guessing if it's got a compare at, this probably is like TJ, not TJ Maxx, but I don't think this will be worth listing. But again, I will look it up just to double check. I have not had the best of luck with Walter Baker in general. So no matter what Walter Baker it is, if that's what it is, then it might not be worth listing. All right, this is splendid. This is a tube top maxi dress is what it looks like. Um, Splendid is one of those brands. It's expensive retail, but I can't sell it for the life of me. This is a size small. While it is really good for the season, I just don't think I'm gonna be able to sell it. So I'm really glad I have stuff to list in there. <laughs> Spoiler. Uh, all right. Cause I, my goal out of all these boxes was like, if I could get 20, 25 items out of all of this stuff to list, I'd be pretty happy. All right. So this is sparkle and fade, which is a, an urban outfitters brand. And this is a little sequin dress, tiny. This is a size zero. And I just don't know, you know, I just sold a urban outfitters item this morning. <laughs> so, and it was for 25 bucks, which I was really surprised about. So I might be able to list this for 25 and some girl going to a prom, aren't proms over? Whatever, there's next year. We'll see, we'll see about that one. I don't wanna list something and have it you know, sit for 12 years. All right, this is spl Splendid Size Large. It's a hooded cardigan. And I think you're just gonna be a keeper because can a girl have too many cardigans, black cardigans? I don't think so. Do you have pockets? Oh, you have little pockets. Um, so yeah, so this is a good brand. Like I wouldn't be opposed to wearing it myself. I just don't pick it up to resell and it's a good size and it's got a hood. So I think this is just gonna be a keeper for me and I'm okay with that. All right, this is a Wild Fable size 1X. This is like a quilter, quilted jacket. Um, while the size is good and the style is not bad, I did try to sell some Wild Fable stuff before and I didn't have the best of luck. 
Um, and I, I mean, it wasn't very expensive retail. It's also not the right season. So I think this is gonna go in the yard sale pile and it's, it's pretty bulky. I don't wanna store it until winter and yeah. All right, this is Caslon. I feel like I said that really weird, Caslon. This is, uh, this is pretty cute. It's like a little lightweight jacket, mid length jacket. Uh, this is a size extra small. I wish it was not, but I think this is classic enough. This is preppy enough. I, like I think Caslon, I, I wouldn't list. Like I just kept a Caslon um, flannel that was from that box in my size. I would wear it. It's not something I would pick up, but I do like this style. I think I could at least list this for 30 and get 20 for this. So I'll list that one. You feel cheap. <laughs> All right, green envelope, Los Angeles. I know I've seen this at places like TJ Maxx, right? Uh, it's just a size medium. It's an adorable top, don't get me wrong. I like animal print, but it's just a very cheap polyester feeling. So um, that's gonna go in the yard sale pile. All right, this is bar three, which is Macy's. Is it showing? <laughs> it's not showing. You know what I'm, there we are. You can kind of see it. All right, uh, these are just a pair of stretch. I don't know. I mean, I like a good elastic waist, but um, these are animal print and they kind of have like a velvet feeling on the animal print part. So these are pretty cute. They're a size small. I don't think these will be worth listing. Um, but I'll look them up and see, see if they'll be worth something. I mean, it's a pretty affordable Macy's brand, so. All right, this is Talbot's Petite Factory. So, really nice classic Talbot's piece, but so many things about this are why I'm not going to list it. Petite, small, and factory. So that'll go into the yard sale pile. I'm not having a yard sale, I'm just donating some stuff to a local yard sale that is raising money for something. So that's what I'm, it's, it's going to a great place, going to a good cause. All right, this is H&M. It's a extra, extra small. It's the divided line. It's a little corduroy dress, mini dress. Um, I like H&M, some of their styles, but I don't typically sell it. Um, and this is going to go into the yard sale pile. And some of this, like the bar three pants or whatever they're called, those might be able to sell for 20 or, you know, 15, 20, but it, they might take, you know, four years to sell. And I really don't want that right now. All right. This is old Navy size small. It's new with tags. It's just a little basic black mid-length dress. I think this is a great basic. And someone at the yard sale is going to snatch this up. <laughs> I have heard people who like to follow, um, in the world, like to follow like where these boxes come from. Many of them have said that they're in my comment section that Georgia is their least favorite. Like they think the worst boxes come out of Georgia. I, I've never followed any of them, but I will say some of my best boxes have come from Arizona or Pennsylvania. I do know that. So I guess I don't really have a best box from Georgia. All right, this, I don't know what it is, but it looks like a boutique tag. They're just a pair of shorts, preppy shorts. Uh, I don't see any other tag, which would tell me maybe more. Um, I don't, this, I, yeah, there's no button. I don't know, this could be something, but I wanna see what the material content is and there's no, oh, there it is, okay. Oh, you look like a cute material tag, but you look like you're from China. I think this is just a, you know, Amazon or a little boutique cheap China brand, but I will look it up before putting it in the yard sale pile. All right, this is new with tags, Meek. I don't know, Meek blazer, Meek pink oversized blazer. I don't know what Meek is, but this feels so, so cheap. Even the tag looks cheap. <laughs> uh, Meek, yeah. And it looks like the store is called Doraldorn, 
no, Doraldor, NYC. I don't know. Okay, but it just feels cheap. So whatever it is, I can't imagine this is going to be worth anything. I mean, it would be really funny if it was, but anytime I see a tag like this where the size is written on the material tag like this, of course, this pink is like neon, but I don't know if you could see there's like smalls down there and it just looks like a cheap material tag. This to me screams cheap, but I will still look it up. There's no size on there or a uh, price tag on there, but all right, this is Lulu's. I don't mind Lulu's, but I definitely am not drawn to it in the thrift store. This is a little black dress with a little side tie, uh, size medium, which is good. A lot of Lulu's I find is really like small or extra small. So the problem with this is it wouldn't be easy for me to photograph like the detail on it, but I'll try it. This is, I think, worth listing. At least Lulu's is, I mean, it's at least a brand I've sold before. All right, this is Mondetta Performance Luxury, size small. This is not a brand I've ever tried to sell and um, it's pretty affordable, like TJ Maxx or something like that. So I'm probably going to put that in the yard sale pile, but again, I'm really happy about the box behind me. <laughs> in total, I, I can't remember how much I spent because the 50 pound box was probably like a hundred something dollars, but I, I should definitely be able to double my money with what I'm seeing so far, but I'm definitely not gonna make my money back on this one, I don't think. All right, this is Jones, New York, and it's just a beautiful green, my favorite green dress. Um, I'm not anti-Jones, New York to wear, but to sell it, it's just probably something I'm going to donate or put in the yard sale, so. All right, Jones, New York again, size four. A skirt. It's a cute skirt. I like the style of Jones, New York. I mean, a lot of good career basics at an affordable price, but all right, this is mustard seed and it's a medium. It's a cute blouse, but this, I don't think is gonna be worth listing. So that'll be yard sale. This is new attacks, L Bartlett, $128. Okay, I don't know what L. Bartlett. Too Hot by L. L. Bartlett. <coughs> I don't know. It kind of looks cheap, I'm not gonna lie. And is this a dress? Because if this is a dress, this is the size of a t-shirt for me. Um, like the length is so many, it's like a super mini. Uh, okay, so this is the tag. Too Hot by L. Bartlett. And then it's like a little boutique tag. I don't know if it's showing, but $128. I'm not impressed, but I mean, it's not terrible. It's just super small. I mean, it is a size small, but it's just feel, it's mini. It's 20, uh, no, it says red cross, red cross titched mini dress. I think they're missing an S on that. I think that's probably listable. I mean, I don't know if there's a market for it. I'll look to see how, you know, what the sell through rate is, but all right, this is silence and noise size 12. It's a little mini skirt um, with probably some faux leather. So Silence and Noise is Urban Outfitters. I mean, it's a cute little party skirt, but, and it's a good size, but uh, yeah, I, wow, it's 100% leather on the leather part. Okay, I might sell that. I mean, it's a good size and if it's 100% leather, yeah. All right, this is Halogen, size small. Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, house brand, not terrible, but you won't pick it up to resell. That's probably, I mean, there's so many of those little blouses by Halogen that it's probably flooded in the market. So I probably won't list that. All right, this is an ASOS top. And wow, this is a, this is a something. <laughs> so ASOS is right here if it will show up. Um, I don't pick up ASOS, not to say, they have some cute trendy items, but I have learned for myself that I don't have a good easy time selling it. So I tend to not pick it up. I probably will just put that in the yard sale pile. All right, this is a size small Daniel Rain. 
So another pretty affordable little top. It's a cute top for my size. I would keep it because I like the style, but um, that'll go into the yard sale. I think I only have like one or two things I'm gonna list out of this 25, 25 items. So not a great box. Philosophy, extra small. <coughs> little blouse that will go into the yard sale pile. Okay, so, all right, so I'm keeping the splendid cardigan and it looks like it can confidently sell four items out of 25. So five out of 25, not the best box. But, um, you know, all right. So this one is only has the stuff that I'm keeping because I already took the bags of donate from this. So this was a 50 pound mixed clothing box. And I opened this a week ago cause it came here from Arizona. Um, and my mic wasn't connected on one side. So it is what it is, but I think everything in this box should be listable or I'm planning on listing. Now this one does not have a size tag, but I think it'll fit on my size six mannequin. And I thought it was pretty adorable. It's a midi dress. It's got a tie, it's button front. Calvin Klein dresses, I have sold a couple before. And if they're plus size, they tend to do pretty well. I don't think this is plus size, but I think the style is so classic. It's gonna photograph well. And if it fits on the size six mannequin, then I can gauge the size by that. If it doesn't fit, I might not even try and sell it, but I do like the style of that. I just wish it had the size tag. <laughs> I do not like selling things without size tags. All right, this is really adorable. And I haven't looked up any of the stuff. Um, this is not something, the tag I would not look up in the thrift store. The style I would be intrigued by. So this is weatherproof. It's a size large and it is the most adorable jacket. It's a mid-length, it has unique little buttons. Um, I don't know if it's showing. And it just kind of has, I think this is kind of like a Chanel material, but great size, great style, very heavy. This is like half the weight of the box, but I'm pretty confident that this will do well. So I, it's just funny, cause that's not a tag that I'd be like, oh, they're gonna make a jacket like that. I feel like I see the weatherproof jackets that are like, you know, old and not, I don't know, like nothing special is a lot of the stuff, but that's kind of just a cool jacket. So I'm hoping it has some decent comps um, and I'm excited to list it. All right, this I was pretty excited about because I really love the colors. It's a silk dress and I don't think it's gonna show, but it's kind of got a little bit of pleating on the bottom skirt part, um, but this is hot hippie. Now I have not had luck with Hot Hippie in the last couple of years. My first year, I sold a couple pieces that were, did pretty well. And then since then, I have not had much luck with the brand, but this is an absolutely beautiful dress. It is silk, it is a good brand. It probably retailed for $150, $200. Um, so I'm excited about this one because just the colors are just beautiful. It's like reopening this box all over again. All right, so this one is a brand I've sold and it did sell for me. Uh, but it has very mixed comps. So it's CMED Collective, I think, or CMEO, CMEO Collective. Anyways, I would probably look this up in the store. I mean, obviously it's a wrinkled mess, but it is really fun little polka dot, giant polka dot skirt. Um, I think the thing I sold from this brand before was new with tags. And I wanna say it got like 40 or $50, but some comps for this brand don't do fairly well. So I'm gonna list it cause it's a really adorable style, but um, I'm interested to see what the comps are. Now this was fascinating to me because when I got this box, I saw the real real and I was like, yes, something designer. I think the real real is getting way more lax on what they're accepting because this is shocking. Now the style I love. And it probably is vintage, but it's six petite and it's Ellen Tracy. Ellen Tracy. Style, absolutely love it. Color, stunning. Um, wish it were my size, because I would just wear it for real estate. But as you can see, we can't even get arms in. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep the real, real thing on there and I'm going to list it because I really love the style and the color. I love the gold buttons. And I do know there's some, some brands like this that at one point were designer, 
like, you know, had runway shows and, you know, but then became more common and more like mall. So I do wonder if that's one of them. So let me know your thoughts down below. But uh, yeah. All right. So these two are classic. So I'm listing them because I love a pink button down. Um, both of these are still good brands. This is Ralph Lauren. It's the blue tag. So nothing high end, super high end, but this is just a really nice classic pink and white striped. It also has this little guy, little, uh, polo guy. Um, <laughs> like what is the other brand line by Ralph Lauren? Um, so little polo guy that usually is a good sign, but, but yeah, I am going to sell that. I'm excited about it. It may only get 20, 25 bucks, but, um, I think it's really cute. This is Brooks Brothers and it's a size 12. It's also pink. Now this one is more of like career. It's not like the preppy vibe, but it's more like career. But I think it's a great classic piece. Is that new with tags? Oh, I didn't notice before. It's new with tags. It's $98. Even better. Oh my gosh. Okay. Even better. We love, we love those new with tags surprise moments. <laughs> I swear, sometimes I pick things up at the thrift store and then I get home and I'm like, just so thrilled that it was new with tags and I didn't realize it in the thrift. That makes it that much better. This is new with tags Bowden. It's linen, absolutely adorable print, dress. The only thing that would make this better is if it was a slightly larger size. It is a size six, so I hope it will fit on my size six mannequin. It does have a side zipper, so I should be able to get it on. Um, but Bowden, here's the little Bowden tag that says 100% linen. It doesn't have a price, but um, this is great just going into the right season. What is on you? Oh no. Is that just dust? It might just be dust. No, it kind of looks like that's faded. Can you see that? Okay, well, maybe it's not going to be new with tags, and maybe I'm going to have to wash this. I did not notice that before. We'll deal with that. I thought maybe it was just dust, but. All right, so this one I was kind of humming and hawing over of like, should I list it? But at the end of the day, I do think it's a really cute, like if someone wanted to go out for a little bridal party or even have like a cute little bridal shower dress with, it's like subtle sequins. Or this could be a cute casual wedding dress, you know? Like some, sometimes people have the second dress, you know? Anyways, it's White House Black Market. I would not pick this up at the thrift, but I do think it's a cute style. Assuming there's nothing wrong with it, I think it's worth listing. All right, this is Michael by Michael Kors. I would not pick this up myself, but I do like the style. And if it fits on the size six mannequin, I think it will be easy to show. So it's got a side zip, it's one shoulder. And so it's kind of got that like, you know, like the, it's like a sleeveless and then it's got this kind of draped part over the shoulder which I think is just very flatter. It just looks like a very flattering little black dress with just some little accents. So again, I, it's here. I think I can at least get 20 bucks for it, but. All right, this is a good career piece. These are a nice pair of wool slacks, ankle length slacks. They're blue, they're theory. I've said it before, I'll say it again. This is not something I would pick up at the thrift but people do shop for these. They already own a pair. They just need a new pair. Um, blue, navy blue doesn't do the greatest for me, <coughs> um, but you know, I'm gonna give them a try because they seem like they're in good condition and these probably retailed for $200, you know? So I think I can at least get 20 bucks for them. Moral of the story. All right, this is Anima, Anima. I don't know this brand, but it's a really cute style and it's a size large. So not the right season, but absolutely adorable. It's very soft. I think it's just polyester, so it's nothing fancy. It's probably just a little boutique brand, but I'm definitely listing that for style and for size. See already, isn't this? I mean, I know I'm not showing you some of the duds. It was like half duds, but I think I got like 25, 26 pieces out of this box, which is really great. All right, this is Merci, and I have sold this brand once before. It is a, an adorable top, something that I would wear, but I don't know if you could see the little accents on the front. And is it, yeah. Yeah, that's, it's supposed to be a little off 
like two on one side, one on. Anyways, this is absolutely adorable. If I don't keep this, which I'm tempted to. Okay, I heard a dog make a noise, so I had to go check on them since they're outside. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so this is a pair of spider pants. My mom recently picked up a spider jacket and the comps were actually pretty good, but it was a snowboarding type jacket. And these are snowboarding ski pants. So um, here's the tag for a mountain, <laughs> um, a ski pass. So these are a size four and it's not the season, but I'm gonna list them and I'm pretty confident these will do pretty well. Like pretty well as in maybe 40, 50 if there aren't any major issues. So, all right, this is Babette SF. And I've picked up and sold this brand a couple times. It was a boutique in San Francisco. I don't think it exists anymore, but um, they have a lot of kind of lag and look style stuff. These are a pair of black elastic waist, straight leg, wide leg pants. And I know these will do pretty well, probably if I had to guess somewhere between 35 and 45, but I've never sold any pants from the brand. So um, hopefully in that range or more, that'd be great too. All right, here's a pair of J. Crew. There were two. There were two pairs of J. Crew jeans in here. One is the Lookout High Rise Skinny. Both were size 29. So these are just black. They have some distressing on the knees, and then they have a raw hem, but they look like they're in pretty good condition, besides some wrinkles. So here's the other J. Crew pair of jeans. So this is the Selvage toothpick. Now, Selvage definitely had a moment, and some people still swear by it, but I have not been able to sell the last couple pairs I've picked up of Selvage jeans. I've never tried Selvage by J. Crew, but size 29, uh, good condition, raw hem, and I think those are worth listing. I think this is where I was at before. So if I don't keep this for myself, I will list it, but I like the style, something casual that I can wear with shorts, so we'll see. This, I'm probably either going to wear a few times, uh, maybe you just like wear it with like a little black basic dress to kind of dress it up, not dress it up, but like make it a little fun. I don't know. Um, it's not 100% my style, but uh, if I don't, I might list it. It's BCBG Generation. This is kind of their lower end line, but um, it's a really cute style. And this is kind of just, does floral ever go out of season? This, you know, so uh, I might not be able to get too much for it, but I think for the style, it, it's, it can at least get 20 bucks. All right, this I was most excited about because it's Ralph Lauren, but it's the black label. So it's my understanding, please don't come at me in the comments if I'm off, but I think the purple label by Ralph Lauren is the highest under that is the black label, I'm pretty sure. And they're not, they're not too drastically off. I think it's just different styles. There's also that one that's a little bit more Americana um, that's really good. There's the double, double R, L, double? Anyways, there's quite a few different lines. This is one of the better ones. It is a pair of white shorts, but it doesn't look like it has any stains, which I'm really excited about. It's a size four. It's made in USA. And I, I've never looked up shorts by the black. I have sold the black label a couple times. I've never looked up shorts, so I don't know. But if I had to guess, I think these could get, if they're in good condition, at least 40, maybe 50, maybe more. Because again, that is one of the highest lines. So we'll see. All right, this is, I think, ASOS. And normally I would just kind of pass on it, but this kind of had a lot of different accents to it. And so here's ASOS. This is a size six, so hopefully it'll fit on the mannequin because it has a lot of excess. <laughs> it's just a utility jacket, but it has like on each sleeve, it's got this ring accent and then it's got this tie that's very long and I think you would wrap it a couple times. Either way, I think if I put this on the mannequin, it would look really nice and it's got a lot of character, you know? little pizzazz on a utility jacket. So I think it's worth listing. I'm not sure what the comps will be, but I think it's worth listing. All right, this is Boss, Hugo Boss. 
And this is, I think, a really nice career piece or even pair it with a white t-shirt and jeans and a cute pair of heels going out little layering piece. I love the zipper accents. Um, Boss, Hugo Boss is pretty pricey. I'm sure it's not picking up because it's white on white, but uh, it's pretty pricey. It's not something I gravitate to. And when I have sold it, it usually takes a while to sell, but I've usually gotten a good return on them. So I'm hopeful that that will be decent comps. Like decent 40, 50 maybe. All right, this, I think it's worth listing because it's a size large. It's Nordstrom Rack. It's a bound, so it's not, it's not a high-end brand. But I really thought the style, the neutral, the eyelash fringe, and the size, it's just super soft. I think I could at least get 20 bucks for that. Um, we'll see. All right, this is Torrid size zero. I am not drawn to this Torrid piece, but I think it's a great basic because it's a, just a blazer, you know? And it's something that you could pair with a white t-shirt and jeans. You could pair it with black, black pants, you know, slacks for work and, you know, a hot pink top or something, have a little pop. Um, so I think it's kind of one of those multi-use kind of items. But um, my guess is it's not going to sell for much, but I'm hoping maybe I can get 20 for it. All right, this is a pair of Michael by Michael Kors again. I think these are worth listing because they're a nice little like summer, spring color. They also have stretch. They look comfortable. They are a skinny pant. They're also size large. So I, yeah, if these aren't stained, I think those can definitely get 20 bucks. All right, and this was probably the one I'm like most uncertain about. Just because it has that like, it's a modern piece that's supposed to look, I think, vintage-y but it's got some, it's got some character. So I'm going to look it up. I think it's pretty adorable. Um, I don't know where someone would wear this to because it almost looks costumey, but it's ASOS and it is a size eight. So I'm hoping it can go on the mannequin, but I don't know. I think it might be worth listing. So that's it. That is what I'm keeping from the mixed clothing box. Again, I already donated the stuff. Um, but it was about half the box that I kept and I'm really happy about that. So, you know, the bus, the shoe boxes that were my size, I probably wouldn't do that again. The shoe box, the mixed shoe, shoe box was actually pretty good from Georgia. And the 25 piece mixed clothing was terrible. <laughs> I mean, five out of 25. So, you know, not a great percentage of stuff that, that is worth it for me, but I am being pickier these days. So, you know, keep that in mind that, some of this you might want to list if you were wanting um, more stuff. I am really excited about wearing these too. Hopefully they're not uncomfortable, but all right, that's it. That is, now I've got some stuff to list and be sure to hit the thumbs up. I don't think I'm going to do any thread up boxes anytime in the near future again, because now I'm going thrifting again, but it was fun to get these and time to get to work. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.